Good day everyone, you are welcome to our teaching series for SS1 Physics. Uh, our topic still remain units and measurements. In our previous class, we discussed the derived quantities and how we can derive these quantities from the fundamental quantities with their units. And we also discussed how we can convert their units into the SI units. Now, today we are going to be looking at a similar topic. Uh, in this video, we are going to be seeing what we call dimensions of physical quantities. Uh, and we'll be seeing how we can apply these dimensions for various activities. So, let's see what, what is the meaning of dimension. Dimension simply means the uh, power of uh, fundamental quantities in the derived quantities. That should, after converting the derived quantities, after deriving the derived quantities from the fundamental quantities, we want to see the powers of these fundamental quantities in the derived quantities that we have. Now, we should still remember the seven world fundamental quantities, the seven fundamental quantities we have in the world. Yes, these are dimensions. We have the length, capital L, we have the mass, capital M, we have the time, capital C, temperature, capital K, and so on. Now, we should be able to see how this dimension works. That is how we can use them. Now, let's take for example, if somebody asks you what is the dimension of density, what is the dimension of density? Now, density is mass over volume. Mass over volume. Density is mass over volume. And uh, the this is mass. Mass is a fundamental quantity, so we don't need to convert it. But volume is a derived. We convert it to length, length, and length. That is length and length and length is what we call volume. Now, this is mass over length times length and length, which is mass over L cube, which simply means the dimension of, uh, that is mass per unit length, two, that is mass, this is M, L minus 3. Both mass and L, though both M and L are dimensions of fundamental quantities, and that is why the dimension of density are 1 in mass, that is the power of mass is 1. And the minus 3 in length, the power of L is minus 3. And what are the uses of this dimension? We, say, we said earlier to share correctness of equation, to convert units, and to derive a formula. Now let's look at this one after the other. Now, how do we share correctness of equation? Let's consider the equation of motion which is given as s is equal to ut plus half a t squared where s is the displacement or distance covered u is the velocity time t is the time and a is the acceleration now we can write the dimension of each of these terms one after, one after the other s is length which is displacement l that is the distance covered in a given direction now u is velocity T is time. Velocity is L over T. That is distance over time or displacement over time. Times time. T we cancel T. Then it remains L. It's remaining L, which is capital L. So if you do the same thing for acceleration, this is A T squared. Acceleration times T squared. What is acceleration? Velocity over time. Velocity is already L over T. All over time itself. Then multiply by this T squared. This is T squared. Now, by the time you do that, you see that t squared will cancel t squared. This t comes to t to meet to, to give t squared. t squared cancel t squared, and you are left with ordinary l. Now, this is the dimension of each of them. If you look at all of them. S is having l. U t is having l. Half a t squared is also having l. Each of them are dim have dimension of one in length, and that is why we say the equation is dimensionally correct. Now. Let's see to convert units. We can convert dyne. Let's see, see dyne and uh, newton. Dyne and newton. What is the meaning of newton? Newton is the SI unit of force. That is uh, the real, the, the, the international system unit of force is newton. But dyne is CGS unit of force, that is centimeter gram and seconds unit of force. 
Now, the Newton meaning, the meaning of Newton is 1 meter multiplied by 1 kg multiplied by 1 second, that is per second square. Why dime is 1 centimeter instead of meter, 1 gram instead of kilogram, then per second square. By the time you say 1 Newton over 1 dime, we give you 1 meter, 1 kg, 1 second, everything. We cancel each other, but we convert meter to centimeter, that is 100 centimeter. So that centimeter can cancel centimeter. Then gram, cancel gram, that is kg. K is 1000, that is what we have here. So by the time we do that, we have 100 times 1000, which is 10 raised power 5. So which means 1 newton simply means 10 raised power 5 dime. So that is how we can use dimension to convert, we can use dimension to convert, uh, dimension to convert, uh, what is it called? Units. Now, when we say dimensionless, when we say some quantities are dimensionless, it simply means they have no units. Though it may not mean they are not correct, but it means they have no units. That is the meaning of dimensionally, uh, dimensionless. Now, let's see how we can use dimension analysis to derive formulas. Now, say given that the time period, that is the time period of oscillation of a simple pendulum bulb depends on the length L and uh, that is L length L of the uh, bulb, the length L of the bulb and uh, it depends on the acceleration due to gravity G, if it also depends on the acceleration due to gravity G. Now, let's see how we can derive the formula for this time period. Then we can see that T depend. We say T T time period T depend on length that is, is, is proportional to length raised power A G raised power B or we just say T equals to K L A G B where K is constant dimensional is dimensionless. Now this proportionality we convert it to equal to and it attracts a constant term k now let's write out the dimension of each of the uh, components we have above now let's see t let's see t is just time so which means that the dimension of one for time but others are zero zero it has no length length is zero m is raised power zero all of them is raised power zero m raised power zero is one m raised power zero is one one times t is dt so the same thing applicable to l l is the length capital l in dimension of one mass zero t zero raised power zero power zero power zero simply mean one g is l per t squared that is a uh, distance over that is a uh, velocity over time and that is l per t squared g is acceleration we know that before it has L1, that is 1 in uh, L, and 0 for M, and uh, minus 2 for minus for T. Now, if you substitute everything we have into the equation above, T is L0, M0, T1. Why K is dimensionless? Then we can write everything, each of them, raised power, this everything raised power A, here everything raised power B. If you open the bracket with A, a times 0 will give you 0, A times 0 will give you 0, A times 1 will give you A. Then the same thing applicable to B times 1, B, B times 0, 0, B times minus 2, minus 2, B. Now let's see, L0, M0, T power 1 will give you all this. And that is what we have. Now, L A, L raised power A times L raised power B will give you L raised power A plus B. You can see that from indices, indices can tell you that. And uh, t raised power 0 times t raised power minus b will give you t raised power 0 minus 0 plus minus 2b, which is going to give you 0 minus b, which is minus 2b. If you compare the left hand side with the right hand side, you can see that L is carrying 0 here and L is carrying a plus b here. So you can easily say a plus b is 0. A plus b is 0. Now compare the power of m is just 0, 0. But let's compare the power of t minus, I mean the power of t. The power of t here is minus 2b, while the power of t here is 1. We can say minus 2b is 1. So if you 
find and make B is equal to the formula divide the both sides by 2. We have B equals to minus 1 over 2. Then it means A will be equal to minus B. And uh, which is minus into bracket. B is minus 1 over 2, which is 1 over 2. Now let's write what T is. Therefore, T is equal to K, this K. Then L raised power A, which is 1 over 2. Then G raised power minus that is g raised power b which is minus one over two which is k into bracket l raised power one then g raised power minus one i open bracket and i bring out the common factor one over two outside now one over two half power half simply means square root in indices that's all we have l over g l all over g g minus one when it comes down it becomes plus one and that's all we have T, the time period is equal to K L over G, where L is the length of the bulb and uh, G is the acceleration due to gravity. Uh, you now we come to the end of today's class. We meet next class for the next topic. Thank you very much.